Welcome to another episode of Low Budget Photography. My name is Mabu. Now in this episode, we will be talking about studios or the lack of a studio and the lack of a model. We're going to combine these two issues together. Now, when you're starting off in photography, it will be very difficult for you to just have a studio. It's not something that comes through automatically because sometimes you know, we, we can't afford the rent or we can't afford to buy a property. And when it comes to the model side, the, let's say, for example, you're an introvert. You, you don't have that many friends who are interested in becoming your model or you can't afford to book a model. It's not the end of the world. What you need is just a room. You can be in your mom's house. You can be in your parents' house, your brother's house, or just find a wall. Let's start off with the wall. Now, there's certain things you can do with the wall. You can find yourself a plain, plain wall with um, nothing on it, like just one color, one flat primary color, and find creative ways to take images on that one. You can put yourself in front of the camera. I need you to do that. Just put yourself in front of the camera. This will actually teach you a lot about uh, what it's like to be a model so that when you're taking pictures of other people, you don't get too frustrated because you know uh, the anxiety that comes with being in front of a camera and the demands that being uh, that comes with being in front of a camera as well. So what you could do if you don't like your face being in images, you find a plant, you find something to, just to put in front of your face, turn it into an abstract type of photo. Um, what I did back in my mom's flat, what I used to do is just take so many newspapers or just get uh magazines cut them out paste it all over the wall uh something else you could do is find what else did i do yeah my mom keeps these old records in the house so what i did was i would paste the records uh on the wall and then i'd have myself or i'd have my friends just come through and and pose in front of them and i did this in my mom's flat i don't have access to a studio so don't let the, the lack of access to something hinder you from trying to achieve some things in photography. Something else you could do as well if you, you're thinking, okay, a wall is just, it's not a clean backdrop. What you could do is find a bed sheet or use a curtain and just hang it up and let it drape all the way down so it looks like you have a cool backdrop. You can sit down on it, take some images of yourself there or find someone to come and pose standing on your sheet or your curtain but please if it's, you're using a sheet make sure you iron the sheet out first because um, if it's wrinkled up you're gonna have to fix all of those wrinkles in Photoshop so just make sure you actually make it easier for you straight directly from the camera before you actually go into the, the editing suite as well so you don't have access to a studio you don't have access to a model it's not the end of the world you can actually make things work if you just oh, I forgot what I wanted to say yeah you could make things work if you just knuckle down and use yourself as your own use you can find you end up finding so many creative ways to take a picture of yourself there was one time I needed I just needed an image that I, I want to recreate an image that I saw online but I, I don't have a model, I don't have um, a studio, as I said, and I didn't want my face to be in the image. So I just put my, my, my camera on the ground and put it on a self timer and just kept jumping over and over and over, over the, the camera until I found the perfect image. It will take time. It's not gonna be quick because you're playing so many roles in this situation, but the final product will be worth it and you'll be proud of yourself and you'll be making strides within your career as a photographer as well. Thank you for watching the... What are we watching? What is the name of the show? Oh yeah, thank you for watching the Low Budget Photographer and hopefully we'll see each other again soon.